He's just filming. That's all he's doing. He's not hurting anybody. If one of our, you know, downtown people comes in here and starts screaming and throwing stuff around, that is disruptive. This isn't someone whiling out at the hospital. And then it's up to so the court. that could get arrested? Yes. It's up to the court. You got physical with somebody. For what? He's filming. What is he doing? Why can't he go upstairs? It's a public building. It's City Hall, for Christ's right. sake. The trial of public opinion is coming. Yep. During the editing process, it has come to light that Sergeant Yacobelis' body camera footage the prosecutor's office provided my attorney during discovery has been tampered with. Approximately 50 seconds of the audio was missing. Audio that includes Sergeant Yacobella saying, quote, this guy is such a F-A-G, end of quote. What else are they hiding? What other evidence have they tampered with? Where is the accountability? Information on how to file a formal complaint against the prosecutor's office is in the description of this video. is the policy that you gave to the state's attorney's office being on Phil's desk. And you asked questions about Exhibit 5, and I asked you um, to tell the court what you might have seen on Phil's desk. I think there was an objection, and your testimony was that, no, you in fact saw Exhibit 5 on Phil's desk. Do you remember that testimony? Yeah. And I'm just going to show you what's been marked as Exhibit 5. That's this document, right? And I think the testimony was that you saw it on the uh, left-hand side of the uh, Phil's desk, is that right? Depending on which side you're talking about. Okay, um, I thought that was your testimony, but well, we, we can move past that. 
Um, if you're looking at Phil's desk from, I think the vantage point that you mentioned was the balcony on the second floor, right? Okay. So if you're looking down from the balcony on the second floor in City Hall, looking towards the front doors of City Hall, which side of the desk would that have been on? And in fact, I think you also testified, ma'am, that um, your actually seeing Exhibit 5 is confirmed right in the video, correct? Yes. And that's the video the state's played for the court, correct? I don't know if it was in that video. Okay. Uh, but it's, it's one of the videos that the, uh, the state's played? I just know I saw it at home. Okay. Say at home. At home. When you were watching the videos at home. Yeah. Okay. Sad. Yes. <laughs> so make sure I understand. No so, problem. Uh, this time, I'd like to play the uh, the video. Uh, that is State's Exhibit One for the record, video number two, and that's of July fifteenth. And then just a couple questions. Is July fifteenth you're referring to? that the Exhibit 5 policy was on the left-hand side of Phil's desk, correct? Yes. There are two videos you want to the video? Yeah, I think you said this is the first video. Yes, it's just one second. Mm -hmm. And I believe the testimony was you were shown three exhibits, P, Q, and R from the defense. I think you were showing exhibits uh, P, Q, and R, I believe, yesterday, and it was your contention that in those exhibits, which were taken from from video, you couldn't tell from those angles. Um, you couldn't point to what you saw on Phil's desk, correct? Yeah, I don't know if I P, Q, and R. Okay, so here, for example, here's P and Q, defense P and Q. It was your testimony that uh, the exhibits P and Q take from video. Um, you couldn't you could see the uh, uh, the left side of Phil's desk, correct? Okay. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to play for you a videotape of the lobby of City Hall on July 15, 2015. policies in place here, that would be Exhibit 5, Defense Exhibit 5, and Defense Exhibit 2. I'm going to show you just so that you can answer the question. And then, are either of those policies posted on the front door of City Hall? You can show that again. Yeah, can you show that again? Thank you. Uh, did you see get a chance to see the front door on that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so just first with respect to the front door, are either one of the policies contained in Exhibit 2 or 5 posted on the front door of City Hall? Not that I can tell. Okay. Go ahead. Can you stop it? And at about 33 seconds of the video, I'm sorry, 9 seconds of this clip of the video, can you identify Mr. Genusos in the video? Can you just go back? And just for the record, is that Mr. Janusa? Yes, it is. And do you know what he's doing? Signing someone in. Okay. And so it's Mr. Janusa writing information in the signing book, correct? It appears to be that way. Okay. And go ahead. Did you hear the conversation between Mr. Janusa and the lady in the video? No. Okay. Did you just replay it again? 
And this is just if you know, if you can hear. How is anything in that conversation at this point? I'll answer So, um, quick way might be, you remember saying that Mr. Genusas uh, may have helped people who were of various different multicultural persuasions to sign in? Do you remember that? Is that your testimony? What is the objection? Relevance? Yeah, um, yeah I, I would agree with the council on the. I, I, you're going for it, this person speaking English, definitely the correct counsel. Yeah. And Phil's helping him. I think the fact that she made a statement that this potentially okay, happened at the time. <coughs> I'll, I'll take note of the fact. I'm going to move, move this along. Yes, that in this particular instance, right. the person who's signing in is speaking. Okay, thank you. I understand your point. Thank you. Uh, go ahead. Stop it. Now, ma'am, in this video at about 15 seconds, you see a picture, a still frame now of the video, and it depicts the back of Phil's desk, the side of Phil's desk that he's sitting at, correct? And can you tell me what you mean by the left-hand corner of Phil's desk? The part where that's the bottom, you know, paper. Would that be behind the white bottle that's depicted in this exhibit on the same side of the desk as Mr. Genuso's chair is? The paper, the paper is in. Yes. And that's the location, that's the left side of Mr. Phil's desk, correct? Right. Okay, and is, is, are you able to read that document? No, Okay, so it's going to show you now. Show you what's been marked for at this point identification. The state has uh, copies of this. Is there an objection to these? Uh, I, There's still shots in the video. Out. But that may be what they're. Do you, do you know which second of the video it is? Just to uh, mark it. I'm sure it's, since it's technically right, already That's pretty close. pretty close. But I could ask the foundational questions of whether this is at or around the time of the video. They're taken from the video, basically. The video, the fact that the video is in evidence and we're going through the video is not enough. You want to put a picture in of the still of the video? Yes, sir. And very quickly, I'm going to show you what's been pre marked uh, Defense Exhibit X and Y. And these are still shots of that video. In, in Exhibit Y, you, you have the document you can't see too clearly on the screen there in the bottom left-hand corner of Mr. Genius's desk, correct? Yes. Okay, and it's not a perfect picture, but can you make out whether or not there's a Dan, City of Danbury seal on the top of the, on the top of the uh, photo of the video screen in the left-hand corner, the piece of paper that's on Mr. Genius's desk? On this particular one? Yes, on Y. Yes. Yes. Okay, and I'm going to show you what's been marked as defense exhibit identification. This is a full exhibit here. I'm going to ask to move these two photos in your X and Y on the basis that they're just representing still shots that make it clearer to the witness um, what I'm getting at so I can ask the question. Are, Maybe, they, are, they, are they that clear? Get them clear. Any objection? Yes, because I can't, I can't make out what's on here. It doesn't well, I think that's important. I'm just saying, even, even with the still shot, I'm so unable to decipher it. Uh, are, you, are you claiming to be a fair and accurate representation of that particular frame of the video, which is already on it? Yes, and it's clear. I'll allow you to Okay, man, so if you take a look at Marco. Yes, they're, they're marked exhibit. That's full exhibit. No, they're marked they're not. Mark them now? Okay. X and Y, which are now marked as full exhibits, ma'am. I'm going to draw your attention to exhibit Y which is the left-hand corner of Mr. Janusa's desk with a piece of paper facing the ceiling. And your other testimony was that you saw a document was facing, the words were facing the ceiling, correct? At the time I saw it, that doesn't mean that that was that given time. That may be. That may be. That was your testimony yesterday, too. That may be. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't have an objection, but the sequential <coughs> the 
attendance of witnesses, how do we get to X? Uh, X is uh, not a complicated. I don't, it's just, I don't, I don't X shows Phil's desk uh, at or around the time. I'm just saying, I thought we were on R. Okay. Tracy, or what? Tracy, or X and Y. Hello? Yes, sir. He's, he's not, he just concerned about the, the, the order if we skip a letter. Oh, that's all. I was scared he was objecting us. I apologize. <laughs> so, uh, so with, with, with that being said, uh, Manfred, you're comfortable that we have we have it all already, so this is the next? Yes, Your Honor. These are X and Y. Okay. And do you remember what time, ma'am, on the 15th of July that you saw uh, Exhibit 5 on, on Mr. Janus's desk? No. I'm going to take a, take a look at Exhibit Y. And I'm going to leave Exhibit 5 in front of you. Just a couple of brief questions. Both of those documents, Exhibit 5 and Exhibit Y, are documents that contain the City of Danbury seal on the top of them, correct? That's not the same document. I'm asking you if Exhibit 5 and Exhibit Y are documents that contain the picture of the city seal on top of the men. And if you take a look at Exhibit 2, oh, pardon me, Exhibit 5, uh, does Exhibit 5 contain a seal on the top of it? No, it's not. Okay, so we know that whatever that document is in Y, it's on the left-hand side of Phil's desk, it's not Exhibit 5, correct? Not in this particular one. Okay. And the formatting and the number of paragraphs are certainly different. Uh, in Exhibit Y than they are uh, Exhibit 5, correct? Right. And would you agree with the same thing, um, Exhibit 2? Yes, not at all. Okay. So, ma'am, are you sure that that's not the document you saw on Mr. Janus's desk on July 15th in the left-hand corner from an angle which you could see it? Objection has the answer. Times. Uh, overall the objection. In light, man, in light of what you just, the questions just asked you, the pictures just showed you, he's asking if you're sure about your earlier testimony. That's not the same thing. That's not from the document, that picture. Well, that may be to, um, the question is simply, um, are you sure that's not the document you saw? She testified in that the same document. She just testified. It's not the document. Okay, so the document that you're referring to from you having seen in the balcony, are you sure that that document is not the one contained in Exhibit Y? That's blurry. That's not from the balcony of that picture. So you, you can't say for sure, I just want to make sure your testimony is good. You can't say for sure that the, exhibit, the document contained in Exhibit Y is the one you saw from the balcony on July 15th? Not the same time, so any document could have changed from the afternoon or whatever until now. That may be too. Mm -hmm. um, however, my specific question is just simply from the balcony, ma'am. So could the document in the line be what you saw? The attorney seat, or she yes. testified that from the balcony she saw the document that's an exhibit that's the policy. You have gotten information from her now that in that particular picture that is not the policy. Okay. Now I ask her if she was sure no, about her testimony. She said she is. Yeah, she's she sure. Not. Okay. I'm going to return these exhibits so I don't want to lose them. Point taken. Thank you. You can just roll the rest of the headset to that video. Can we go to the story? Wait, wait. It wasn't the story, remember? Yeah, but we're going to get to meet the arms now. You guys can go. What do you know? And. Ma'am, did you happen to see any forms that people would have to fill out on the desk of Mr. Janusis on the 15th of July? No. Um, that came up to get you 
on June 10th, 2021, um, with a message that Mr. Reyes wanted to serve a document, something to that extent. Do you recall that video? Okay. And I don't want to get into what Mr. Or Officer Contabisi said, but after he characterized Mr. Reyes to you, and you had a chance to hear what he said, you asked him, but why does he have to film, didn't you? Objection. This objection on relevance. This, is, this comes back to June 10th of 2021. And uh, any questions from the officer are hearsay in any event. What she said to the officer back on June 10th of 2021, upstairs in her office, is really of no moment. Okay, so, so the, the particular video you want to show, Terrence, here is the June 10th video, correct? The June 10th video is the video that was introduced by the state over my objection because it was a completely different day. I, but well, uh, rather than giving a speech to me, let's try answering my question. Yes. So the, so the information you want to show right now is the June 10th conversation between the officer and our witness. Correct. He's on the and, I, and is it? And is it in any way because? Of her testimony yesterday, or is this something? This is a separate part of your cross examination. That in response to testimony from yesterday is well, a separate yeah. part of the cross examination. Does yeah. she remember telling the officer um, the words I asked her? I'll allow him to ask that question. So, ma'am, in that discussion with the officer, you say, <coughs> but why does he have to film, correct? I don't remember that. Would it help refresh your <coughs> recollection if I replayed the video? <coughs> officer on um, the uh, 10th of June when he came up to get you in connection with the service of Mr. Reyes's document? Yes. And your question is, why does he have to film? Okay. Okay. No other questions, correct? Right? Objection. Relevance. The question, I'll hold the judge. It's okay. Just everybody take a step here. The question is, did you ask it? And now you've seen it. You're saying yes, you did ask that question. Okay, proceed. And ma'am, I think on your earlier testimony, uh, maybe more than one time, I asked you if you were, if you're able to recall the speaking with the police, uh, Mr. Farrell, on the day that Mr. Reyes was arrested on July 15th, 2021. I think your answer was you didn't recall that. Is that, is that correct? Correct. Uh, would it help refresh your recollection if I played a video for you um, involving you and Officer Farrell in a conversation? Yes. Can we just play that? So now we're on the 715 again? Yes, we're on 715 now. This is the day of the restaurant for the record. And I'll get the exhibit number for the record. So I believe it will be with T. And that would be um, Defense Exhibit T, Your Honor. So, ma'am, 
And does that refresh your recollection of the conversation you had with the arresting officer Farrell on 15th of July? I didn't see Mr. Farrell there, so I don't know that that was him. Okay. Now, could you go back? So what do you mean? as to you speaking with the police on July 15, 2021. So I can tell the I can see So you're speaking to the police on this video? Someone, yes. Okay. But it is a police officer, correct? Right? Only from a body camera, I could say. Okay. Well, do you recall speaking to the police on July 15, 2021, as is depicted in this video? Yeah. You just saw the video. Mm -hmm. Second, oh, if you recall speaking to the officer <laughs> that day, you don't. Know, by the camera, it signifies that it's an officer on the other end. Right. Okay. So, do you recall talking to the officer? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, <coughs> when you were talking to that officer, he was there in response to Mr. Reyes and your interaction, Phil's interaction with Mr. Reyes in the town clerk's office, correct? Correct. Right. Okay. And in your earlier testimony, I, I asked you, did Mr. Reyes bust in to your office? Do you remember that question? Objection. Uh, asked and answered. This, is, this was a that, I think this is not a question yet, but yes, that question has been asked and answered, but I don't think that's the question. Okay. You recall being asked whether or not Mr. Reyes busted in in your earlier testimony? You were more expansive. Well, ma'am. I'm just going to try to ask the question. If there's something unclear, maybe you can ask the judge for me to rephrase. But I'm asking you, ma'am, for the record, very specifically, I'm drawing your attention to your prior testimony. In your prior testimony, you were asked whether or not Mr. Reyes busted into your office. Do you recall that? Yes. Okay, hold on. That's, 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 that's it. My next question is, Next question is, did you not tell the court that Mr. Reyes did not bust into your office? Is it objection asked and answered? That no, was asked and answered. He's asking you to recall. He, he asked you, trying to contrast it. Maybe he didn't bust in. Do you, you know, did he bust into your office? You said no. you remember that? Yeah, but he said, no. Yes, it might have been a longer portion, but, but I understand that. But 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 that's what he's asking. It's a it's, of I, 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 I think at this point you should just concentrate on answering the questions and leave whatever arguments with regard to the case to the attorneys. So so let, ask your question and answer. And can I move to strike any explanation that they this me. I, I, there's no jury. Here. Then we're good. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> um, so you recall saying that um, Mr. Mr. Reyes didn't bust into your office, correct? But ma'am, on this video, on the day of the arrest, unlike when I asked you, when you told this court, <clears throat> you told the police Mr. Reyes busted into your office, correct? Objection asked and answered. A lot of question. Over. I'm gonna have to say yes because Because it's on the video, correct? Right? That's what you said, correct? Yes. Right. Why would you tell a Danbury police officer, ma'am, investigating Mr. Reyes and the incident that happened in your town clerk's office, 
that Mr. Ray is busted into your office when he didn't do that? Objection, I'll give you I'm going to overrule the objection. I'll allow the question. And you don't, if, if you don't know, you don't have the answer, that's fine. He's asking me, why would you say that that's not what happened? Can I rather say I don't have an answer? Uh, whatever you'd like. You have to answer the question. But answer the question the way you want to answer it. So you don't have an answer? Is that your answer? Yes. Okay. I think on some of your earlier testimony, you referred to the sign-in sheet that's contained in exhibit, I think it's four, but let me check. Okay. I'm sorry about that, man. That would be um, six. exhibit six. It's exhibit six. You recognize this, correct? Yes. And you identified it uh, in previous testimony? Okay. There was a lot of talk earlier about policies and, and, and COVID, correct? correct? And at some point you talked about COVID concerns in relation to the sign-in policy contained in Exhibit 6, correct? Correct. Okay. And if you take a look at Exhibit 6, is there a, is there a time column? A signing time, time column? column? A column, yeah. And where, the, where Phil marks down the time, people are there, or they mark the time down? They didn't mark the time. Well, that's not what I'm asking. I'm asking you. There is a time column. There's a time column. Okay. Does everybody that is noted in the signing sheet include a time? Can I just. No. Okay. So, number one, the signing sheet, not everybody includes a time. Is there anything on the signing sheet that confirms they picked up a hall pass, one of those, you know, those no trespassing thing when he says visitor? They have to sign in in order to get a pass. That may be too. That's up for contest at this point, but I'm asking about the sign-in sheet only, man. Does it have any, have any way, when you're looking at that COVID-related sign-in sheet, to tell whether or not somebody took up a hall pass to the second floor? Objection relevance. No. No. And with respect to that COVID policy, there's nothing in the sign-in sheet that even tells you how you would reach a person whose name is contained on the sign-in sheet, correct? Can you that? Yes. If you take a look at the sign-in sheet, other than the name and the time and possibly the department that the individual went to, is there any contact information, like a telephone number where you could reach the people that are contained on that list? No. What about an email address? No. So if you had an issue of COVID in your office, town clerk's office, and you had to refer to the sign-in sheet that you brought and identified for the state's attorney's office, um, how would you contact the person whose name's there? I can look up what sheets they signed for me when they came into my office. Well, that may be too. But with respect to this sign-in sheet, how would, you, how would you do contact tracing with Exhibit 6? It's not my form. I don't know what the intent was. Well, you testified it was related to COVID, though, didn't you? It was the policy. The okay. sign-up sheet and the policy was related to COVID. And let me ask you something about this sheet. No email addresses or phone numbers there? No. And it doesn't necessarily say the person got a pass, right? No, it doesn't say that. Thank you. And then, <laughs> if you take a look at the sign-in sheet to identify the name of the visitor, Right? Is it your understanding they have to give identification when they sign in? I don't recall. Okay. Um, do you know if all of the people whose names appear under the name of the visitor are actually the people they purport to be? Objection calls for speculation. I'm going to sustain the objection, but also that point was made earlier in the cross examination. So it's also people. You 
One second, I need to go back here. I think your earlier testimony was nobody gets upstairs without that hall pass, correct? Objection has to be answered. Do you recall saying that you need a pass to get upstairs? Yes. <coughs> nobody gets upstairs without one, correct? Objection. That was the estimate. I just asked a question. She answered it. You ask the question again. It's the same. Ask her now. a sign-in sheet in the clerk's office, too? Is that what he said? That's not a testimony. That's a mischaracterization testimony. I can ask her. I, I, maybe, maybe it is, Judge, but I thought that she said she could tell I something. Ask her a question. Yeah. Was there a sign-in sheet in the clerk's office on the 15th of July, 2021? No. Okay. So with respect to visitors, it would only be the sign-in sheet in Exhibit 6 that you could refer to, correct? trying to figure out who's in your office for COVID or other purposes. The only thing you can check is the signing sheet in Exhibit 6, correct? No. Okay, so can you tell me then, is there some other document that could confirm that for you? Yes. What is that document? Uh, for vitals, there's forms for each specific vital that they have to fill out information on before they can get one. Well, that may be, but I'm asking you about a signing sheet that you could use to track the visitors to your office on the 15th, 2021, July. I just answered that. We have forms for the people that come in in order to get what they're in the office for. So what you're saying is you would have to check what each individual person who came in your office was there to do. And depending on what they did, what, what form they had to use to get what they needed from you, that's how you would get their information. Okay. Okay. There's no centralized list of no. Okay. And with respect to Mr. Reyes, uh, was he required to fill out any form in your office before he came in? Can I answer it extensively for you? Well, ma'am, I, 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 I don't know. I mean, what's fair is fair. I'm not here to do anything other than ask a question, and, and I'm expecting a fair answer, and the court's going to listen, we're going to listen. You know? So was, was Mr. Reyes... Let's do it this way. Was Mr. Ray's I'm 215, I am 6, 7, 15, July, 20, July 15. Yes. But right. the top clerk's office was he required to fill out any form at that point? See, was, I'll even be more specific. Well, I asked him the question are you here for a birth certificate and marriage license and death certificate? Or, and he said he was here for a FOI form. And okay. I told him I don't have that. Okay. Um, was there any other form that's generated by your office that Mr. Reyes? was required to fill out before he walked into your office, into the foyer. I just explained. He... This is calls for a yes or no. Was, was, there, another, was there any sign-in form in your office that you had to fill out? No. And The reason why you told him to leave was because he didn't belong there, correct? Correct. I have no further questions, Your Honor. Okay. So the cross-examination is being completed. Attorney Zentner, redirect. Can you expand on what you meant by whether or not Mr. Reyes was required to fill out a form of You said you wanted to expand your answer. What did you want to say? Yes, because um, I was trying to determine his purpose on being there, and he had no purpose to be there. And based on our COVID requirements, um, a visitor had to have a reason to be in the office. And you, and you could explain to him, he said he was there to do some kind of an FOI request or something to that effect. What did you tell him? I told him we don't have FOI form. And you explained him the procedure as to how he can get an FOI request? I told him he could write a form and direct it to our office.
Your job is that the clerk's office not to fund desk that day on July 15th of 2021. You're not working at the front desk on the day of July 15th. Intermittently, I work for that. They're not, you know, oh. you talk about the front desk of the whole town hall. Yeah. Oh, the front desk of the I'm going to have the front desk to your no, office. Uh, let me rephrase it. No. When you first walk into the building itself, right. the glass doors, mm -hmm. you were not, you were no. not working at that exactly. front desk there, or Mr. Traducer was. Correct. Right. Okay. And you said, with respect to Space Exhibit 5, just have to shoot that for a moment, please, not close to the witness. Of course. Have that? She has yeah. number five. She should have. Yeah, number five. You're my suspect. You're my suspect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there they are. That, that might have been a problem later on. Just yeah. <laughs> here, have you warehoused any other uh, yes, I have. court exhibits at your table? Yes, I think they also guilty of six. Okay. So one can imagine that the state of them. There's a little humor in the courtroom. <laughs> okay, all kidding aside. Um, can I approach you again, please, John? Um, so, Ms. Gabler, you said, show me State's Exhibit 5. This is the one you recall seeing from the balcony? Yes. That they July 15, 2021. Yeah. I won't hold on to these. I know where to find Um. Now, do you recall seeing on the video yesterday or perhaps um, last Friday when the door to the town clerk's office was shut and then across the hall the accessor's door was shut? Do you remember that? Yeah. Have you ever seen that happen before? How often do the two doors get shut like that during normal business hours? Objection. This is a compound question. I'll, I'll, I'll ask. I'll, I'll do this. Stay objection and ask you to how often did the accessor's door get shut during normal working business hours at City Hall? Objection to the relevance of how often the accessor's office would be shut. This was, uh, this was brought up on direct and on cross. I will. How often, in your experience, did you see that happen? I haven't. That was the only time you could recall offhand? Yes. Okay. Same, yes. I had the same question with regard to the town hall office. Remember the, that part of the video where it shut? How often did you ever see that happen in your experience? Town hall office? Yeah, the, the door to, to the town's met with John. You mean the town clerk's office? Yes. Her office. Your office. Never. Except for that day. No. Same with the assessor's door. The door to the assessor's office? Yes. Seen that happen? Let me, you said you haven't seen that happen before. Have you seen the, sh the door shut since? No. Either door that I just mentioned. No. Yes, yeah, Sharon. What's the relevance of the door being shut since? Oh. Can we approach this for one second? Go off the record? Yeah. That wasn't the question I was saying. Yes. I wouldn't know the difference.
Thank you. Nothing further. Tracy. Say hello again, ma'am. Many are asked on, on redirect about some questions and from the state attorney's office, and I think you said Mr. Reyes had no purpose to be in your office, correct? Correct. Okay. Did he ever express a purpose to you? For an FO5 form. Okay. Was that a purpose? That was a purpose. Okay. And it was expressed to you, correct? So we don't do that. Okay, that may be. But when you were asked by the state's attorney's office, he said he had no purpose in the office. That was your, that was your answer, correct? correct? Your words, not mine, correct? Correct. But he did have a purpose. Objection. Yes. Did he express to you objection? objection. Sustained. We got it. Yes. What about this, ma'am? You said that. familiar with the policy in Exhibit 5 and the policy in Exhibit uh, 2, correct? This defense Exhibits 2. <coughs> you remember those exhibits? Yes. What does it say in either one of those policies that a visitor has to have a purpose to be in your office? <coughs> there was another, there's another, um, email that we have gotten that stated that people needed to Well, ma'am, just ask the court. Well, I don't want to hear about it. Okay, so he's, asking, yeah. he's, okay. he's asking you if in those mm -hmm. policies there has to be a stated reason for being in the office when a customer comes in. Mm -hmm. Specifically with respect to exhibits two and five, is there anything in the policies that we've gone over here and that you're familiar with that states Mr. Reyes is compelled to provide a purpose to enter your office? My office, not the correct. Your office, office. correct. Mm -hmm. So that's a no. no, correct? That's a no. And I'll leave them up there. You also testified three minutes ago when the state asked you questions about what's going on in the office and the Mr. Ray's actors that he also had no reason to be there, correct? Correct. Okay. Can you tell me in exhibits two or five the policy whether or not it compels Mr. Reyes to give you a reason to enter your office? with him in the town clerk's office after July 15th? Objection. Relevance outside the scope of the redirect. Sustained. It's not relevant and it's outside the scope of the redirect. Well then, just for the just for the record then, very briefly, we have a testimony about a door 
And no, we have closed. testimony about the door being right. closed to two offices. That's why I'm asking if you. Gonna, if you're going to make a speech, make it with accurate information. I, I, I think I did, Judge, but that's okay. Let me, uh, with permission, I'd like to answer the, ask the question again. You testified that the door was never closed in your office um, after July 15th, correct? During business hours. Okay. Do you recall, ma'am, any time in the future, whether Mr. Reyes walked through the door to the town clerk's office to conduct business with you when there was no arrest? Do you recall that at all? No. Objection. What were the questions? What time? Well, is objection pending? Yes. The question is, does she recall on a date after 7 15, 2021, defendant Mr. Reyes walking into her office? Your objection is what? Irrelevant, outside the scope of redirect. It's sustained. Finally, well, just a couple of final questions. The, the reason why the doors were closed on July 15, 2021, at least your door, was because Mr. Pinter told you to close the door, correct? Correct. Okay. And I think you're really testing, you, you weren't there at the tax assessor's office, correct? On July 15, 2021. No. So you don't know why the door in the tax assessor's office was closed on July 15, 2021, do you? Just by you. Calls for speculation. If you know, he's saying he's asking if you know why the town assessor's office, city assessor's office door was closed. I know why. Okay, you can give the answer. Do you, do you, on no, July 5th, I know why. why. Why? Why? Because they asked, Mr. Pinter asked them to close that door as well. Same reason. Reason why the two doors are closed is Mr. Pinter gives an order to you and whoever's responsible for the door in the assessor's office to close the door, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. And are you familiar with whether or not Mr. Pinter has ever told anybody to close the door before July 15th? Did you know that? Yeah. What about after July 15th? Do you have any information about Mr. Pinter Telling anybody to close a door after the 15th. Thank you, Councilman. Here, stay outside the scope of the system. Do you know, ma'am, as you sit in the witness box today, and I don't want to know any words, whether or not Mr. Pinter has ever told anybody in the city hall to close their door after July 15th? Objection. Do you know? Objection. Here's the it's not here. Hold on. First of all, here's how this is going to work. We're on day six of this. This is my last question. You're going to ask a question. Count for something. He's going to object. You're not going to talk while he objects. Then I'll have you talk. I apologize, Judge. The objection is what? Relevance outside the scope of redirect calls for your state. Okay. Right. I'm going to allow the question if you know. If you don't know, the answer can be no. I wouldn't know. Thank you very much. No further questions for the witness. Ma'am, I'm sure you're disappointed to hear this, but you can step down. <laughs> I, have, I have one remaining witness, Your Honor. Is he available or is she available now? Yes. It is 3.15. This might, in light of the fact that we have a transition, be a good time for our break. We will take a recess. Uh, does, 3, does 3.25, 3.30 work? Yes. And then once we start, we're going to go to 4 30. Yes, sir. Recess. All right. Thank you. Of course, not recess.
All right. Close back in session. Good afternoon, Yana. Good afternoon. Please be seated. We're back in session. We're going to go to 430. Do we have our next witness ready to roll? Yes. Yes. Um, I just have a moment. Matt. Mm -hmm. Just the unredacted thing. I'm uh, giving the report back. Sergeant Vito Yacobella, Stanbury Police. Thank you, sir. Well, he, he, was, he testified a week ago today. A week ago today? Yes. Mm -hmm. He's been years ago, I'm sure, with many people. Today. A week ago today. Yes. Yeah. That's good stuff. In just the video that uh, the state's going to introduce, I think it was subject to a motion limit and we've objected with coming in, and my understanding is going to be well, the future. No, there's been, there's been a motion limit that's been granted by the court based upon uh, a fine. Uh, this is an infraction trial, day six of the infraction trial. This is an infraction trial where, uh, in an effort to expedite the matter, the, the, the video is being played subject to the motion limit which has been granted where anything that comes in visible on the video that is not a uh, person who testifies here, right? So any hearsay statements will be disregarded by myself and the court, who is the finer of fact. Also, uh, any other statements as that are not hearsay statements will only be considered if, in fact, there is an uh, offer of proof as to why the court should grant, should, should uh, uh, consider them. Thank you. So, so, so that motion limiting stays and stands. So I understand we have a, a video here which has not yet been played. It is lengthy. Uh, thought process, at least on day one, was this would be a more uh, expeditious manner to handle this trial rather than starting, stopping, rewinding, cutting, deleting, etc. So this is what we've done. This is the course we've chosen with the agreement of counsel, so this is the course we will pursue. Thank you very much, Colonel. I'm going to I'd ask to have this point for, um, well, coming as a fully to the subject of the course, uh, understanding the location of the TV. This is, for the record, the body cam footage of this witness on the day of July 15, 2021. Thank you. Mr. Mm -hmm. B. states he's going to settle it, Your Honor. And if, if counsel's fine, we'll dispense with the usual he was on duty at that time. He's already testified. He is a damn great star. He wasn't in the body cam. Okay. Let's have a moment, Counselor. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Up there with a uh, Mr. Sean Paul Weiss. Yes. And you identified him earlier before a week ago. Correct. 
Did you have your body camera on when you arrived at that location? Yes. And uh, when you downloaded the... Uh, Judge, we'll stipulate that this is uh, Sergeant Yacobo's body camera is downloaded properly. Council has agreed. Let's just get to the video. Okay. So we'll get to the video. During the editing process, it has come to light that Sergeant Yacobelis' body camera footage the prosecutor's office provided my attorney during discovery has been tampered with. Approximately 50 seconds of the audio was missing. Audio that includes Sergeant Yacobelis saying, quote, this guy is such a F-A-G, end of quote. What else are they hiding? What other evidence have they tampered with? Where is the accountability? Information on how to file a formal complaint against the prosecutor's office is in the description of this video. So are we. Uh, <laughs> do you want me to go talk to Les? Mike, do you want me to go talk to security at least? Or are you good with me? Yeah, you Unless he wants us to officially use Yeah, I got to talk to you guys to get a chance. Okay. Just hang on one second, bud. Okay. So you want to report a crime? Is that any danger right now? Is that who we keep talking about?
Hey, is that Utter? Is that Officer Utter? No. 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 How you doing today, Sarge? Good, yourself? Pretty good. Uh, can I just get your name? Sergeant Fernandez. Sergeant Fernandez. And what was your name, sir? It's right here, pal. Officer Jacobo. Yeah, so what, what you're wearing right there, that's just a costume. I'd appreciate it if you just identified yourself. So yeah, I, I, I just did. I told you, Officer Jacobo. Oh, okay. Yeah. 651. Yep. Thank you. Uh, Sergeant, uh, I would like to uh, report a crime. You can talk to the officer. Okay. I'm present, so. Okay, great. I just want to make sure that, you know, it gets. So you guys, it's. Your supervisor hears it and uh, correct action is taken. So the security guard in there, Phil. Okay. Uh, I walked into the building, yeah. um, exercising my First Amendment right to film in public. Yep. And um, he unlawfully detained me. I know he's not a police officer. What did he do to unlawfully detain you? He wouldn't. He wouldn't allow me to leave. He wouldn't allow me to move. He prevented my movement, and then proceeded as I tried to walk around him. He proceeded to push me several times. Really? Yeah. Okay. So do you have all that film? Because that would be very helpful. I do have it all I can filmed. look at the recording. He pushed, yep. Especially he pushed, if he pushed you? He pushed me several times, and I'm, I want to press charges, and I want him arrested. Okay. Would you be willing to write a sworn written statement? Yes, I would. Wonderful. Okay. And I so have between it on the sworn written statement and the, and camera, the camera footage, he we should can... be arrested because he committed a crime. Well, I, I will determine that after we look at the camera footage and after I read over your statement, but just cursory. Based on what you've told me, yes, it absolutely sounds like a crime, especially if he pushed you. Yeah, several yeah. times. Are you injured from several the pushing, times. from being pushed? No, I am not. Where did he push you exactly? So, on my chest. Um, kept pushing me. Do you have any marks? No, I do not. Okay. Just kept pushing me. Okay. He kept pushing me. Now you what don't it, want what it, what you don't want it, medical attention. I just want to make sure it wasn't you're not I do, hurt. I do not want medical attention. Okay. I, I, I just want justice. And, and you don't have marks. And no. Okay. And like I said, he did not allow me freedom of movement. That would, this is an, that's an illegal detainment. He did so, not allow me to. He did not allow me to, and to move. Freely. Where were you in the building when this happened? Trying to access the town clerk. I was going up the stairs. Okay. He wouldn't allow me to. He kept getting in my way. I kept trying to walk around him. It's all on camera. Yep, I yep. kept trying to walk around him. You were trying to go up the stairs. Yeah, trying to go up was... the stairs, and he was at the bottom of the stairs, not allowing me to move freely, keeping me there. And I said, "You cannot detain me here." He says, "Yes, I'm detaining you here." I don't know what authority under Allied Security Services that he can detain somebody, but you know you can't even detain me without committing a reasonable articulable suspicion that I've committed a crime, yep, yep, which I precisely. have not. Yep. So you know, and then on top of that, as I'm trying to walk around him, he's pushing me, yeah. which is a crime. Can we? Can I look at the camera footage of that? Sure, Because that sure. would be very helpful. Sure, sure, sure. Hold if on. I can let look me, at uh, that video. Let me just stop this. Hold on. You don't have any marks or nothing, right, Bob? Nope. Your, your body cam's rolling, right? Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah, That's a neat phone. What is that thing? Were you, asked to, it looks were you huge. asked to leave at any point? No. No. He said I had to, he said I needed a form or something. I don't know. I know there was an issue, I guess, the last time. Oh, uh, Fold. It has an outside screen. Oh, that is cool. What is it, it? Samsung? Yeah, Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2. That is cool. So, like, it has this little outside screen? Yeah. And then, uh... You open it up so you watch like a YouTube video or whatever. I can't see it. Maybe it's just my glasses. Okay, oh, Otani will and often face like, four different out. pictures. Yeah. All throwing that is bad. <laughs> that is cool, man. That is cool. It is pretty cool. I know the last time we were here, there was some discussion about signing a form. Yeah, no. Um, regarding closing the door. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the corporate council. Yeah. For Danbury. Yeah. I actually spoke to him after. Okay. And he said that there was no problem with me walking around. So okay. he directly there, contradicted. Was there a problem with you recording within the confines of the no. stairwell? No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay.
As long as you stay outside, don't go yeah. past the security no, guard. We're, we're, dealing, go. we're dealing with another issue right now. Oh, yeah? yeah? Yeah. What's that? Okay. The crime was, the crime was committed. Okay. The, uh, he said he, nobody touched anybody, so... Okay, well, I'm going to show you evidence. Okay, still... Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I don't mean to get so close to you. No, I've no, been no, I want to say that was okay. Yeah, it's okay. I know, I know, I know. You're going by down. walking? By walking. I don't want you to call upstairs. I have to call upstairs first. Please. I have to get out of my way first. I'm not going to get out of your way. way. Get out of my way. Get, get outside. Get outside. Get out of my way. Get outside. You're not coming down. Do me a favor. He's unstable. Go, go Shouldn't have a job here. Go, go around the corner and get somebody. I don't need to fill out a form. I don't need to fill out a form. You're going to fill out a form. No, I'm not. Right no, I'm not. Uh, you can sign out. What is this? He's saying that there's some form, but then the, the lawyer came downstairs for City of Danbury and said that you don't need to fill out any form. You can walk around peacefully. I know I don't need a form. She wanted you to fill out a form yeah. in order to go upstairs? Yeah. I don't know why. I'm not disrupting anybody. You need to get don't talk to me. I'll be sitting in the You're disrespecting me. You're not going to go and I talk won't. to you the way I want. Yeah. No, you won't. I'm tired of your no, you nonsense. Won't. I will. No, you won't. You're going to get out of my way. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Tell me not to touch me. Several times. Listen. Again, I'm pushing you. What do you mean? Is that a threat? Is that a threat? Go upstairs to the third floor. Who's pushing me? Relax. Get Danny or Yeah, he's not allowing you to go upstairs. He's not. He's Clearly, which is, uh, which in and itself is against the law. Another man can't well, prevent another man from movement. He had, so, so let's just pause it and I'll talk to you, because I'm just interested in, in talking through stuff like this. So, but as the, not saying at all what he did was right, obviously. Yeah. But as a security guard, if he believes that you're actually not allowed upstairs for whatever reason, whether mm. that reason's right or wrong, well, obviously... That it's important whether that reason's right or wrong, yeah. right? But so he has a duty to make sure that people are, aren't going places they're not supposed to go. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, he also has the duty to know his job and know know what know his yeah. parameters yeah. of his job. No, right? yeah, I agree entirely. Yeah, man. So just like you guys, you have a duty to you, issue you guys you guys have a duty to protect and serve. Yeah. Yeah. If you guys go outside of that scope and violate somebody's rights, like what happened at the Danbury Public Library, you know. That's a third time. You will not. You keep pushing me like that. We're going to have a problem. Try me, We're going to have a problem. Try me, buddy. We're going to have a problem. Try me. Try me. Try me. Why are you saying we're going to have a problem? I'll knock you down like I knocked you down. Because I said you keep pushing me. We're going to have a... I have a right to defend myself. No, I know, man. But I have a right to defend myself. If he's pushed... If somebody... If I pushed you, we would have a problem because you're going to... I know, but I'm not going to... If you did push me a little bit, I would... I would no, 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 no. Come on. You, 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 wouldn't, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't say I wouldn't have a problem. We would have already had a problem. You would have beat the shit out of no, me. No, absolutely yes, not. Yes, no. you would have. If I, I pushed you. I would have used the reasonable oh, amount of force no, you to arrest. I would you not would beat, beat the, the shit, shit out, out of anybody. Yes, no, you would. I would. I'm an easy oh, going guy. Are you kidding me? I, oh, come on. All right. <laughs> you need to stop. You need to stop. John, tell him to stop. Calm down. Look, we're not hearing all that. So I have a question. Why wouldn't you call us? He keeps preventing me from going in. Because he already calls. He already calls. He told me police are on the way. So I said, all right, you're going to go to jail because now you're breaking the law. I don't care. No, it's not a law. It's not a law. Well, we are. We have planned on the new law situation. He could have just let me walk right past and none of this would have happened. I don't. If nobody talks to me, I'm quiet. I don't call the disturbance. His job is not to attack His job is not to attack me. I know that. I told you that. You're gonna fill out a form. I know. I know you guys got a good police chief here, so I'll be. I've, I've been in contact with him, and he's he's looking into this matter at the library, and he's gonna be. And if you guys don't do your job here today, I'm sure I'm gonna be contacting him again. Okay, we're 18. Not what you expected, did it? You're gonna listen. 
I got you on camera pushing me. I'm not pushing you, just get out of my no, face. No, no, I got you on camera already pushing me. <laughs> so you, you know. can either stop mm -hmm. now and stand So you're gonna, you're gonna leave? You we're, we're, yes, we're leaving, sir. Whichever oh, one you okay. want to do. Sergeant, that, you're gonna leave after Whichever I'm showing you. You've you seen it. Hey. You've seen the crime. So it's your job to uphold the Constitution, no matter what they tell you. So make your decision. Talk to the other gentleman. Yeah. All right. Let me let me let me talk to Paul. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. His name is Phil. Phil. Oh, you're Paul. Sean Paul. Sorry. All right. Let me go. Let me go talk to Phil. You guys are 18 out of here, huh? That's that's what you guys like to do here. Hold on, buddy. We're, I told you. I told you. We're not. I'm just going to talk to him. We're going. We're going to talk to him now. Not really. You seem like a, you seem like somebody who honors your oath. So I know it's not going to be up to you, but you can you can arrest whoever you'd like, and that's what I'm saying. You have to you have to you have to do your job because hundreds of thousands of people are going to see this, and they're going to they're going to see how you do your job here today, right? So that's all I'm saying. That's, I'm not. It's not. I'm trying to pressure you into doing your job or do the right thing. I'm just. Can you I just talk to you? Can I have to man for a minute without all the recording? I mean, mine's going to stay rolling. Yeah, yours is going to stay. Yeah, but if yours is then why can't mine stay rolling? No, it can. I just want to talk to you. You seem like I'm, I'm, you, I'm you a reasonable. You for me right I'm, Yeah, I do. No, I do. I do. I do. I, I get it. I do. I do. I do. I do. You, I do. I do. <laughs> but I got it. I got it. I have to hold them accountable. Can, can I just tell you something real quick, please? to your police chief, I will tell your police. But listen, this is what I'm saying. You're already in it. There's nothing I could do now. You're already in it. There's nothing, because either way, what is the police chief gonna, what is the, what is the police chief gonna do? Because the police chief is gonna, I get it. I get it. But the police chief is already gonna know this. Listen, so you, you're, you, what do you, so what do you think, what do you think is better? What do you, but what do you think is better? I'm not asking you to arrest an officer. What do you think is better? Following the law, or not following the law for your promotion. I, I get it. You're a good cop. I get that. And I'm trying to do. I, listen, I don't run into very good cops like you. But what I'm saying is, I get it. You're a good cop, and I appreciate that. And I know you're on track for promotion, or whatever. But listen, man, you broke the law. And then, like, what? If you just don't do anything, what if the chief is like, hey, why didn't you do anything? Because your chief seems this like a good a cop too, a right? Yeah, absolutely. Now I can fuck you up nine yeah. more. <laughs> you might be damned if you do, damned if you don't. Yeah. So, You can do statements and then submit an application if you believe there's enough probable cause. Okay. Yeah, given the circumstances. That, that's uh, the, the visual evidence. That's not a bad idea. Um, Did we secure your phone as evidence? If you're, I could just send it to you. Alright, that's fine. I could just send it to you. Let's, um, that's, up to, right. that's up to him if he wants to move forward. Are they going to do a no trespass thing? No, so they have paperwork that they're going to... You can't be trespassed. 
they're going to have paperwork that's supposed to be completed. So he's allowed. The only thing he can't do is film within a department, and you know, disrupt the normal course of business. But walls and signs and stuff, he's well within his his rights. But there's supposed to be paperwork that's supposed to be signed. But if he's willing to give a statement, okay, that's up to him. All right. And we'll get a statement from the other gentleman. Let's get the camera footage. Let's do a statement. If you if you if you want you will you're gonna send me one of your statement, right? Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's do camera footage and statement. Do a statement from him. And uh, I'll get a statement from him. Yeah. All right, so document it so and I'll submit the flag what does that mean? Mean? So, that means that means I'm gonna submit push, listen, I just all I know is you guys are gonna do you guys are gonna, gonna do whatever you want. You guys are gonna do whatever you're gonna do. I understand that. I can't force you to do anything you don't want to do. But what I'm saying is if I were to touch this this man in the manner that he touched me I would be in cuffs right now. Well, so I just want you to understand that, and especially if I, I show you video. I know, I'm just going to explain one thing to you, though, real quick. Um, it's a little different. It doesn't make it right, but it's a little different if it's in the course of his duties and he believes that... He's not a law enforcement officer. He's, I know, but he's he, a security has, he, ha he, has, he has a responsibility to... He's hired to kind of maintain the peace here. So if he believes that you're not allowed I've upstairs. I've been here before, and he should know that I have a right to film well, here. I the understand lawyer that. Came and that's why I'm explaining to No, no, hey, we're not going to, Phil, please, we're not going to do any so back people. and forth whatsoever. We get statements. Yep. If they want to give it, we'll get his evidence. We'll yep. submit the paperwork to court, and if yep. they want to grant the warrant, we'll grant the I'm going to type up your side of the story, his side of the story. They'll watch the evidence, and then court will make a decision. <laughs> Based upon, if he wasn't, if he wasn't a security guard and didn't have reason to believe that you weren't allowed upstairs, that changes things. You know what I mean? So, and so based on this, and there's no exigency, there's not any serious injury or anything like that. So we have the the availability of time. So I'm going to submit all this. I'm going to document the whole thing and submit it all to yeah, court. Just explain this. And then you submit it. You submit it to. I'm going to write a warrant okay. for his arrest. You submit it to court. Yeah. And then court's going to decide. Or ask for a resubmission. Okay. And then once. So it's a, it, it would be an arrest, granted. but an arrest by warrant. Okay. I'm going to write a warrant for his arrest. Okay. And I'm going to submit your evidence, his evidence, your statement, his statement, your camera footage. I'm going to write out your side, write out his side, and Just then... for the record, if it was me, I would have been arrested right now. But okay. I mean, I'm not going to tell no, you that's not true. Job. That's not true. That's not true. I told you why right because now he's a security it's guard. Yeah, because he's a security guard, and he's... Yeah, I and get he it. he was I, acting I, under the belief that he's, he's stopping... You should never have the belief that he can touch people. To prevent you from going somewhere he believes you're not supposed to. It's a public building. All right. If we have to. Anymore. We're gonna do the statement and everything okay. now together. So if we want you to come outside with me. Film on the outside. Yeah, I know. I know exactly where I'm going to film. But obviously, they have yeah. certain rules once you get into the inner workings of City Hall. Uh, as far as like in like the department. Offices. Yeah, that kind of stuff. I know that too. That's all. I would okay. Do that. All right. I'll be back in for your statement. Okay. Um. I'm gonna need. I don't. You're not. Are you gonna? You're not gonna be able to email that to me. It's too I'll long. Be, I'll be able to. Um, right. Yeah, I can drop off a thumb drive though. You want to put it on? I mean, I'd rather get it now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, especially since I'm writing a warrant, I want the evidence. Cause I'd be, rather take it now. You know what I mean? What happens? If God forbid something happens. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I. So, if you want, I think. Can they plug it in downstairs and take that's it that way? That's up to them. They may be able to do it. I would do that. I mean, that's up to you. I would do it. It's not. It might be a little bit. They would just seize time, it. They understand. would have to take the phone downstairs for a little bit. Okay. It would be out of your. Okay. Yeah. And, you can, you know, and you'd have to plug consent. it in. Okay. And it's solely you know? for that. Okay. It's nothing. For, it's for nothing else. Okay. Beyond yeah. the recording. Okay. Tonight. That's fine. All right. That's fine. You have a car here. I do. Yeah. Okay. All right. You want to do this? Yeah. Well, let's go back to the station because I got to do to a grab his statement, statement, grab his statement and then we'll do the phone. And while we're doing the statement, we'll yep. do the uh, we'll, the they'll do down. the phone while you and I do right, a statement. statement. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. And then um, okay, go with that. But I got to do Fair his enough. statement too. That's fine. So he can, but he can sit in the lobby until you're all set here. Yeah. Okay. All right. Is that good? That works. Yeah. So I'll meet you guys down at the. Uh, yeah. Just go to the front well, lobby. We'll we'll head in together. We'll go in okay. together, same exact time. We'll follow you. All right. So you want me to just wait in my car? Wait. I thought you were going to take a statement now. I'll come back. No, no. Or should we get someone else to If do he this? wants to go to the police department now, yeah. you can certainly do that and just wait until the lobby until he's done and he'll, yeah, meet, yeah, yeah. he'll meet with you. Okay. Okay. All right. Sounds, Sounds good. good. All, All right. right. Cool. Perfect. Right. All right. Okay. Wait for me then.
Other party had a problem. I assume when the body comes back up, you see his hand go back up to adjust the volume on the, on the camera. No, I don't so why don't we fast forward till we see him put the volume back up? Right now, it's a uh, sign of a we'll, we'll do that. We'll do that. We got to do this together. You got someone that can fill in for you? Yeah, I'll be right back. Hey, what's going on? I got Karen May Mattis down here. She's supposed to come up to the mayor's office to pick something up. Yes, yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah, 
Uh, she's going to come down, okay? okay. okay. Yeah, we're out here. Yeah. That's fine. I'm going to shut this thing down so nobody can see. Yeah, please. So why did you touch him? He got right in my face. I didn't shut him. Was, you know, like one of these things. I mean, he's letting you think I formed him or something. But he well, kept no, I, 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 I saw the yeah, video. Yeah. You pushed him a couple times. So I just, you know, kind of, but he wanted to go upstairs, and I wasn't going to let him. We're supposed to, I was telling uh, your sergeant, I said, um, that Les and uh, Dean, they were supposed to give me forms. They want a form. I'm sorry, hi, Jeff. Um, you have a visitor? Um, tell, uh, yeah, tell him to. Someone needs to fill in for you. I'll just ask him. Yes, sir. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. I'll see you later, because i got to go to town. Clerk. Okay, okay. What time do they close tonight? You know? Yeah, uh, we're open until 6.30 tonight. We're close now. So he, uh, no, he kept getting in my face, and I, I didn't like it, I'll be honest with you. And uh, I did all I could to control myself. I said, until why, we get why, these why forms... Why did you even try and stop him from uh, going upstairs? Because I was told last night, I spoke to Dean, and I talked to Les, they're supposed to have forms. As we speak right now, I think they're supposed to get... He has to fill out a form before he starts rolling the tape. They don't want people just coming in in the middle of nowhere... He can film the walls and everything, but he can't, like I said, he will. It's Les a public gonna, place, he's allowed to film in here. Yeah, but I'm saying, he until they want, they want to use, they want these cards to put on my table. And whoever comes in that wants to start doing video, we're not stop. They have to fill out a form first. And I said, look, I should be getting these forms soon. You, you have to wait. You cannot go anywhere until you fill out. Yeah. The I issue is, I don't think, form. I don't think that reason is enough yeah. to use physical force to restrain yeah, him from going physical somewhere. Force. I just blocked them from going. That's, well, yeah. I know, but that's, uh, th any touching is physical force. Yeah, but I'm saying, well, if you've got somebody coming right in your face, chest to chest, you know, and, you know, I just shove them. I just, you know, get, get out of my face, that's all. Well, yeah, because he was trying to go upstairs. I'm glad I did what I did. If it means me losing my job, you know, I just don't understand. I know, I got to Somebody do, I, can come I, in. I have to do yeah. what I have yeah. to do, though. You I don't know? understand how so somebody I, can... I'm between a rock and a hard place Yeah. Here. I mean, so, I don't understand how somebody could come in, let me get my glasses, and disrupt constantly this bullshit. Like I said, as far, like I said, we were supposed to have forms, and he could have gone. I, I wasn't going to let him go and start the shenanigans again until he filled the form. Let me get my glasses. Grab your, yeah, grab your glasses. Well, we got to fill this out, and you got to articulate why you did what you did. So just like I said out there, you know, you're a security guard here. You have a right to maintain order in the building. Right. But him filming yeah. and and walking around in yeah. a public place is is not disruptive to the point where it would require physical force to restrain him in the building. That is the issue. I that just, is why I have to yeah, go. I just this. blocked him, no. No, I, I know, but I have I said there's they, 20 they, minutes of yeah. video footage that I have to watch yeah, now. I know, but I mean, there are forms that they're going to make, so, and I didn't want to let him go until I, I know, got but then, So next time, just call us immediately. Yeah. Don't even talk to him. We name, called right now. Name, date of birth, right. age, address, right. phone right. number, right. Um, and then sign your name there. You can use either one. You want to use yours. That's right. So I would start this by saying, I am a security guard for Allied Universal Security Services, and I work at Danbury City Hall, 155 Deer Hill Ave, Danbury, Connecticut. Right? You introduce yourself yeah. and what happened. Oh, yeah. You don't have to go into crazy detail of the past with this guy, this and that. Whatever is pertinent. This is just what's pertinent yeah. to the case. Yeah. A man who I know yeah. from prior experience yeah. as whatever you know him as, right? right? Um, came into the facility was video recording he wanted to go upstairs i tried to stop him he got in my face he tried to he tried to move past me and i believed i was doing the right thing yeah, yeah. by physically stopping him yeah. from going up the stairs at city hall going further right. into the building right. you follow my dress yes. this is your letter to the court right. so make it good All right. okay i can't write it for you you have to this is your words who you are what happened why you did what you did you understand mm -hmm. okay Oh, sorry. There you go.
just looking for my mail, but I'll come back. All right, thank you. Use his name? No. If you know his name, yeah, absolutely. Sean yes. Yep, yep. If you know his name, absolutely. You go into a little bit of him, whatever's pertinent. This is your letter to the court of why you did what you did. Okay? You need to articulate why you used physical force in this one. No matter how minor, whether it's just, you know, a push or a light, you know, I'm not going to do it to you because yeah, then I'm not exactly. going to use physical force upon you. But he gets in my, he got, I didn't go up there. He got, kept well, getting in my face. Say that. Yeah, say that. Yeah. And now be mindful that there is a video of the entire thing. Yeah. It doesn't, it's not important. So long, I'm to cry it's not important. Yeah, I'll st I can stand out here. Let's make sure no one else comes in. Steak dinner. Can we can we keep this closed? Can we keep this closed? Yeah, we yeah. need some privacy here. We gotta work on this. This is more important. I mean, if you want to call, put your hands up and try to keep it up. Call that. I mean, to me, I don't. Care. It's a discon. It's a disorderly yeah, conduct. Everything's different. Too. Oh my god. Fucking 25, 30 years ago, look, it's. Uh, yeah, I know, but that's. I it's not 25. That means we lose. What am I gonna do? I thought I did the right thing. It, well, the, yeah. the, the, if, um... So be it. If that's the way it's going to be, you know, I can't, you know, I just thought I was doing the right thing. I just, like I said, in my mind, I can't understand how somebody could just come in and start, and people say, oh, it's not, it is disruptive. It's disruptive. It's invasive. I don't like having a camera. I do all What does this say? Take a, no, we'll get to that. Take a what? I explained to him that he had to give me his name and take a courtesy card, that's those are the cards I yeah. to the department of his choice. He refused to do so, so Danbury police were called to City Hall. Today, Thursday, January, excuse well, me, We're July. getting all yeah, into yeah, what yeah, happened yeah, last yeah, time. That's, yeah. not, per that's yeah. not pertinent to today. I thought it would be important. Today, to Thursday, this. July 15th, he showed up again and started filming again. So, but he had to fill out a form. I began to enter the stairwell, and I blocked from heading upstairs. Sean Reyes kept 
and chest to chest with me and held my and what? I held my ground. And I held my ground in the in the interest, interest of safety and city. Oh, city. All right, continue on the back because yeah. this is not finished. Yeah. First of all, so you need to elaborate. Um, after the last incident, right? Yeah. After the this is why I should have stayed in here and done it with you. Yeah. After the last incident, yeah. you were instructed by who? The names. Who told you yeah. that no one is allowed to film in here unless they fill out this card that was never provided was to you? Told to Do you me see what I'm time. saying? Yeah. There's a big yeah, difference yeah, yeah, yeah. between yeah. you saying you're not allowed in here filming, leave, yeah. Yeah. and then you getting yeah. in his way so listen to, to well, listen to yeah. me, to you saying... Sir, you cannot film in here. Yeah. You're supposed to fill out one of these cards first. Yeah. My boss, Ted yeah. Parker, yeah. told me yeah. that you yeah. have to do it. Yeah. You get the difference? Yeah. You catch the my drift? So, so you have was, to articulate yeah, that. Yeah, it was told to me last night that they were going to get these, that they were in the works of having um, these cards, these forms made out that they had to fill them out before they started filming. Of course. So you were told that by who? Day. Last night was, I was talking to Dean, Dean and, uh, and Les, Les Pinter. All right, so put their names. All right. So articulate, I was told by my bosses, X and Y, On the, of course, that, the someone is of, a, that someone is not allowed mm -hmm. in City Hall filming unless they fill out a form. The forms were not provided to me as of yet. Well, you, you, you right? Right? And great. then, no, you got to do it yourself. I'm not, you yeah, know, this I is, I, I have enough writing yeah. of my own yeah. to do. This is your statement. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you need to articulate here what's going on. Because he, he's not, he wasn't acting aggressively. He wasn't, he wasn't, and he didn't come in here screaming and yelling no, and flailing his arms around. He's no, just but he filming. Just kept, yeah, but he kept getting so, uh, I know, but at the end of the day, it's just <sighs> filming. This is what the, these people are trying to do. And, and you, you fall right into their trap when you, when you, when you act like this. He's just filming. That's all he's doing. He's not hurting anybody. Now, it might be a nuisance, but there's a difference between a nuisance and being disruptive. If, 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 if one of our, you know, downtown people comes in here and starts screaming and throwing stuff around, that is disruptive. That is perhaps a safety issue. This guy filming, it's not a safety issue. It's a nuisance, and it's not a safety issue. That's the, that's the problem we have. So two prongs, ready? I'll just take a break for a second. And just hear me out and then articulate it. I was instructed by my bosses, yeah. X and Y, yeah. that I'm supposed to provide yeah. a form to anyone yeah. that comes in and films. I was right? told this last night. Listen, yep. Yeah. I was not given those forms yet. Yeah. He came in today. Yeah. I was simply trying to get him to sign the forms. Yeah. Yeah. Now, also, when someone comes into City Hall and wants to go to an office, you, you touched on it before, yeah. but you didn't finish it. Yeah. You have to say it. you're supposed to do this, this, yeah. that, and the third. Yeah. He's refused. He refused all that, yeah. Yeah. proceeded around me, yeah. Yeah. and went to go up the stairs. Yeah. So I simply tried to stop him from going up the stairs mm. so that mm. he could fill out the appropriate forms. Now, all that is well and good until you start to use force against yeah. somebody. They told me. This isn't someone whiling out at the hospital. Mm. You know what I mean? This is a completely different arena. We're in here. This is a, it's a nonviolent person who is disobeying rules. Nonviolent person disobeying rules is a much different set of circumstances and needs to be treated as such.
kind of easy, right? Yeah. Try and write neatly yeah, and, and don't cross stuff out. Yeah, this is your letter to the court. I wish I could go home and take it home and fill it out. No, you can't. You, can't you have to do it now. Um, also, Mr. Reyes, Mr. Reyes walked right around me and did not fill out the en the proper entry, the proper forms when he came in. He circled around me. Same thing I put in the last game about the, to explain to him that he could film the walls. You need to say why you decided yeah. to put your hands yeah. on it. That's the most important part. Yeah. You need to say why you decided to put your hands on it. And it needs to be pretty good. Proceeded to head upstairs. Since he was violating what I believe to be rules, I'm supposed to defend. Come on, you know, like. I stood in front of the stairwell mm -hmm. and only touched him when he decided to go past me. As he tried to push past me, mm -hmm. I stepped in front of him or put my arm out so that he did not proceed up the stairs. I was not trying to hurt him. Yeah. I was just trying to stop him from yeah. going up the stairs. If that's true. Yeah. You follow I'm my drift? You have to do you have to do this. I can't yeah. do this. Yeah. Next time, just call us. Unless, yeah, so, like unless so, call you. We don't even talk to him. Just yeah. let him go. Yeah. And I'll go upstairs yeah. and go talk to him. Yeah. That's it. Let let us do it. Yeah. I know. Let I us do it. They, I would have I would have gone that route. What is he doing? He's filming. But Who I would have gone that route. But last night, I was told they have they're gonna have to fill out a form. Too little, too good. Late, so until they give you the form, then yeah. guess what? Mierta. Uh, Whatever. They didn't give you the form, so that's not on you. You don't have the form. What are you gonna have them do? Fill out a fictitious form you don't have? No. So let him feel he's not hurting anybody. Okay, Alpha call four six five eight seven. Roger. Eight eight five six seven six seven five. We'll be on eighteen alarm company. What is it, Sean Paul? Right. What you can't be trespassed from City Hall, I guess? Can't be no trespass from City Hall? Think, just think. I'll stop bothering you. Just think.
So I, I, I put my hands up and I tried to check him or don't, don't say that. I don't know what that means. You saw it when I put my hands up when he was coming. I kind of was blocking him with my... Yeah, so say that. Say, yeah. say block, not check him. It's not a, we're not playing hockey. <laughs> and don't say stiff arm, we're not playing football. Yeah. A little bit, but we're into national injury. Let's stop it. Stop. Actually, it's 4:30. We left 4:30. Uh, we will pick up where we left off here tomorrow, as has been the custom. I have the docket that I do. Daily criminal docket for the injury, and then after that, after that, we will begin this as promptly as possible, and then we will go to 4 p.m. tomorrow. And uh, we'll see about Thursday at the end of the day tomorrow. Uh, so with that being said, anything for the record, either counsel. No, no. No. When you stay in recess till tomorrow, we'll do the same thing, 2 o'clock check-in, shoot for 2.15 start. Thank you all. All right. Of course, now adjourn.